I do think I know someone who's in a secret society. I have my suspicions, but I'm gonna say officially I do not. When they go disappearing at odd hours of the night, or during the day sometimes, then you can tell. There are some underground things going on. One of the things that fascinates everyone about secret societies is the mystery of them. I think that all the class presidents and vice presidents have um, some sort of involvement in the secret society. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I'm in a secret society and it's so <laughs> secret that I don't even know it. Right now I think there are about 14 secret societies at the University of Virginia. It's hard to tell because there are three new ones uh, created every year and three that go away. I know that there's three main secret societies here on grounds, or three big ones. The big three, like the Seven Society, the Z's, the Imps. The Seven Society is probably the most secret of all societies. You do not find out who is a Seven until they pass away. The church bell will ring seven times. There will be a wreath of uh, black roses in the shape of a Seven at their grave. In order to communicate with the seven societies, the tradition has always been that you leave a letter at the base of the Thomas Jefferson statue in the rotunda. So if people want to ever reach out to them, ask for help with different initiatives, they can go and they can leave the letters there. A lot of times they've donated to different organizations and different events, but once again, it's anonymous, so you don't know a whole lot about them. The oldest secret society, by its very symbol, the Z, explains who they are and what they want. The Z in Greek actually stands for he lives. So the whole nature of the group is to preserve the thinking and ideas of Thomas Jefferson. There are stories of when students are in libraries, people talk about food, and then randomly pizzas will show up. They open it up and just see a giant Z spelled out in pepperonis. The imps, they're known as being the most rambunctious of the secret societies. During finals, you might see people in morph suits running through the libraries with big boom boxes trying to get people to get up and dance. They do a lot of things around grounds for students when there's high times of stress. It's another way to be, I guess, immersed in the community. I like them because they give an air of mystery to the university. They really are there to sort of promote like the well-being of the students and to point out the people around here who are making positive impacts. Small acts of kindness that generally amount to something a lot greater because they really come in when the university needs them most.